Linux learners, Python learners, and data leaders. Welcome to Insight Builder channel and another very, very interesting video on mastering secure shell on Linux. A step-by-step -step guide to creating and using SSH keys. We'll be seeing how to do these things using Docker instance. Let us dive in into the steps. If you think that how to do an SSH in your uh, in your in your work <clears throat> in your day-to-day uh, -day activity, then you need to understand where to do an SSH first of all. So you have your device here, which could be a laptop or server, and then you need to connect to a particular device. So in the earlier video, I had if you are not seeing the earlier video, do take a look at this playlist in my. Uh, in my uh, YouTube uh, channel, you will find that this particular channel on uh, Linux exploring the top challenges uh, that uh, Linux solves is pretty informative and it provides the seven different ways of getting access to uh, Linux and experimenting with it. So out of those seven different ways, I had uh, that I had shared, we actually can work with four different uh, Linux environments by using SSH. The rest of the three environments, the Google Colab, the Kaggle, and, and the local installation, dual boot installation, doesn't actually uh, you know, require SSH or you cannot do SSH. So there are challenges there. What we are going to do is we are going to use Docker for this particular uh, discussion. Okay. The first and foremost question, as I always start, we need to ask the question, why we have to do something? So, why Docker? Couple of points. I'm, I want to introduce the Docker concepts along with the Linux concepts in a single, uh, in kind of a mixed videos. Why I am doing this is because Docker is a very important technology and it uses and it helps to, uh, helps the Linux environment a lot. Actually, uh, it actually supercharged the Linux environment. And in fact, we, that is the reason why I uh, even took up the earlier video where I share the seven various ways. I specifically share how to get access to Docker and how to get hold of Ubuntu uh, Linux uh, image and install it in your own, uh, in your own um, operating system. In this video, I will be connecting to that Ubuntu Linux system through SSH from my host. That is the host. That is the host laptop that I just now showed. In this, uh, the your device that I showed. So, even though the Docker will be inside your own device, you can actually do an SSH to your uh, to the Docker. So, what will this let you know is that it will actually show you how the Docker is created. So each of the Docker image, Docker instance that we are creating is kind of a slab on your a slab in your home. Okay, assume that uh, your home, your operating system with your CPU and hard disk is your home. In your home, the where you live right now, we'll have lots of slabs, correct? You will have uh, lots of utensils in certain slabs, you will have uh, uh, cloth in different kind of slabs, you will have uh, good looking uh, uh, prices and uh, all those things in your showcase, like right, like all these are separate separate uh, slabs, correct? Same way, Docker is also each Docker instance is a separate slab inside your inside your uh, uh, operating system. So the network layer, the Docker number one. So you see the top Docker that you are seeing with number one. That will be the Docker that we will be creating right now. There, you can create any number of Docker you want. All this will go into separate, separate uh, containers. Instances you want, it will go into separate, separate containers. And all these containers will contain its own software layer, its own network layer. However, the hardware layer will be taken from the host OS drop. The CPU, the hard disk, everything will be shared by all these uh, containers. The internal processes of these each of these containers will be controlled by its own operating system. So each container can have different uh, uh, operating systems, and even you can actually you know copy each uh, container one to container two also. But each of the container will be again separate. So you will see all these things 
in action in a couple of uh, minutes i will be explaining you how how this happens and see i am right now explaining docker in a uh, in application point of view i am not actually giving you a theory okay this is a extremely different way of learning why i am saying extreme so you have to do couple of things you have to learn ssh you have to learn docker you have to learn linux I, so it is overwhelming but in reality in application wise when you are going to go and work somewhere in a high speed environment the environment is going to be like that only you have to learn a lot of things together so you need to practice for this right so this is one of the ways uh, that you can start practicing also okay uh, there are other reasons also the docker will involve the open uh, ssh uh, software is required for getting the ssh keys and uh, connecting the docker image the ubuntu image that you are going to download will be minimal os only so it will not contain all the softwares so the os that you are going uh, that we uh, download from the docker hub will be less than uh, 250 or 200 mb so it will not have all the software or uh, all the application that comes in your regular ubuntu so it this will give only the basic kernel and it will give basic uh, uh, bash shell etc around the ubuntu kernel the rest of all the software you will have to install inside that ubuntu image you this is a very good way of learning so you will be learning not just to uh, do an ssh you will be also learning how to install software inside the uh, the linux uh, operating system so this is a different way of you know getting uh, introduced to linux and you don't need to worry that okay things will crash because it's inside the docker so things will not crash and you can enjoy uh, doing all these things from your wsl or from your uh, uh, own existing linux uh, laptop and you can do all this uh, experimenting without actually touching your host os this is all the benefit and final benefit is that the uh, once you get the docker container set up once you get the open to uh, open ssh set up inside your uh, docker container after that you can work with the docker without connecting to internet this is actually a different way of thinking okay docker once it comes into your system it is your it, it becomes uh, part of your application like the docker router and the network layer are actually inside the docker application inside your host os so you see this blue box it is your host os and it is inside there so you don't need to even connect to the external network to uh, do any of the activity to actually how to say uh, to practice because the major point i insist on uh, insist in my video is to practice continuously okay for doing such a practice you know to create a playground for yourself docker is an excellent uh, application uh, because the play the playground will be yours in your laptop right it's like playing video games so you will have your own application you will have your own uh, connectivity internet everything and you can uh, play with it and when you go to the real world you can also use the same knowledge also okay so please do practice that is the reason why i am you know giving you such such a route so you will have to learn certain things and also practice at the same time i hope that you guys like this video do leave a like and uh, comment in the comment section if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel so that whenever i upload new videos on linux i have a couple of other videos planned in linux starting from vim to uh, going uh, more advanced into big data installation also in the future in the same playlist so with that let us actually go to the next step okay now i have told okay why i am going to use docker now now that we have decided we have to use docker what are the steps first of all you have to initiate the docker instance you have to get the docker instance correct that can be done using docker pull so if you see the earlier video in the playlist you will see you can understand how to do the docker pull and uh, uh, how to work uh, on the linux environment that is shown second you need to actually start the docker container for that you need to use the command docker run hyphen it with the name the name of the container third you need to inspect the docker host okay so that you can get the ip address of the container as i was explaining each of the docker container will have its own network unit so it will have its own ip address all this docker will connect with your docker router and this docker router will be connected to the internet wow that is a lots of information in uh, just <laughs> 30 seconds okay take your time 
the reason why i'm giving it this fast is that you will be watching this video multiple times correct and you will have to do it practicing so all these things i am telling it fast so that it will be easier for you to uh, grasp and later you can review it at a very fast rate okay now that i uh, told you these steps next we need to install open ssl server and then we need to start the service create the user and password then connect using docker so there are lots of steps involved what we are going to do is we are going to go to the practice all the steps that i told you initially you can take a look at the video and then do it and after that take your own time and do it without looking at the video that is how you practice and once you get stuck come to that point of the video and then see what happened okay let us start now so here you see that i have the two parts the bottom one is the host and the top one is the docker and i will be starting to do all the docker related commands at the top side so you'll see i'm pulling the ubuntu uh, latest uh, from image from the docker hub using docker pull once you i have already done that so i am not doing it again so i can use docker run it and i am going to give the image name and if i give let uh, if i give latest or if i don't give ubuntu my particular instance will go again and pull it so i don't want to happen so i am giving it proper name and in the bottom side i am checking whether my images are already available so just to ensure that uh, there is no any issue so if you see in the host side i am showing right now that ubuntu is there 18.04 this is the older version of ubuntu so keep keep a note and now the docker at the top side is already up in in the docker at the top uh, top part of the command line i am uh, doing the app update this is the first step you have to do once you get your docker image ubuntu image you have to do that first and after that you have to do app upgrade so i will be doing that right now you see that the update has been completed and uh, this is a root as you can see i am in the root uh, power with the docker and you don't need to worry about this this docker is actually inside your uh, operating system so it will not be easily uh, hacked or anything yeah you need to secure it but uh, uh, at this moment uh, we are going to use it for practice purpose so you don't need to worry about it so the upgrade has been done and next what you are going to do is you are going to use open ssh server install app install open ssh server this is the part where we get the open ssh server so you'll see what happens right now so it start, it goes and searches for the uh, open ssh uh, operating so software and it, it brings along with it lots of other operate uh, softwares also because it cannot work alone so all this almost 200 to 300 mb of extra data will come into your container it will all come and sit inside your container and we did not give a name you you saw that right i did not actually follow the process i told you i will tell you why because you need to understand that so the open ssh server uh, open ssh server software installation has started right now i am speeding it up you will see that uh, the speed uh, the uh, installation is happening uh, in a rapid pace because i have stopped the videos in the middle and i am restarting it so that is why it is happening that way and then there there you, you it is installing python it's installing lots of uh, yeah it is done right now now what we are going to do is we have to do certain checking so first of all we need to check whether the ssh service is started so we have to check the status so we have to use service ssh status for the uh, checking so you see it's not running so we start it so it's your own docker you can start it and then we say status and now it is running so then after checking that you come to the host system okay now you will be thinking first of all what is ssh keygen ssh keygen is the command that is used for creating a key value pair okay but i am using ssh keygen minus r with that ip address the 172.17.0.0.2 is the ip address that is usually given for your docker container so always do the command first so that you will not face any problem later then once you do the ssh keygen ensure that you are inside the ssh folder inside your home uh, directory i will let you know why in a moment you have to see uh, the ssh keygen uh, command has started and i am giving the tuto tutor underscore ssh as the name next after we create the ssh key pair now the key pair has been created 
if you are thinking okay what is a keypad you see there are two files tutor underscore ssh and tutor underscore ssh pub this is the public key and private key you need to only send the public key to the uh, the server that is your docker container to which you are going to connect to uh, by using ssh please understand this you have to send the public key only to the server to which you are going to do ssh okay you should not send anything else and you are going to use ssh hyphen copy hyphen id okay when i do this you see i am also giving the root at the ip address uh, you might be thinking how i got the ip address i will show it in a moment you see that with the root i am unable to connect why it is not i will be showing it right now even i am trying to change the password of the root on the uh, docker system by using password uh, command line utility even after that it's not allowing there are certain restrictions when it comes to uh, giving uh, connectivity to root from outside uh, network so always create a new user so i will be showing how to add a new user in couple of seconds right now so what to do now so the option is that we actually you know first of all now i am showing you how to actually get the ip address of the docker here what is happening i did not give the ip address of the i did not give the name of the docker you see the ip address this is how you do docker inspect the i uh, docker name elegant search is the docker name if you don't give the docker name it automatically docker automatically populates the docker name okay how to know what is a ip uh, docker name i will let you know in a couple of minutes so you see that i am actually adding user in the docker so add user tutorial is the username tutorial is the username and i am giving a password there okay so it actually starts uh, creating it and uh, i have created given the password i need to this is all automatically done so it is it is a internal script that runs and the user is created right now instead of using root i am going to use tutorial at 172.17.0.2 you saw how the ip address we got right i will tell you how to get the uh, name in a moment dot container name the here this particular error will not come for you warning will not come for you because this is the first time you are going to push so it will not come for you so you don't need to worry about that you can do that uh, step as it is then we are going to ssh into the docker container so now this step is uh, the actual magic so you are the the docker is actually at the top part of the container it is the top part of this terminal it is inside your laptop but you can do ssh i am going to give the password and you see tutorial at 70d2 the same thing that you see at the top so now we have actually ssh into the docker uh, container N next what you are going to do is how to practice okay so this is the important one so once you exit from the docker i will show you how to check okay first of all you have to use docker ps and if you say docker ps a you will see that you see the name here at the end uh at the right side elegant sir it is actually broken that is how you get the name and you see it is exited so you have to if you want to connect again to the docker container you have to start the docker container first so you know the name elegant sir so docker start elegant sir and even if you want to get the ip address you have to use docker inspect elegant sir you got it right now the ubuntu docker is up and running but if you connect again at the bottom you see i am unable to connect ssh is not happening that is because every time you exit the docker the uh, internal uh, programs will stop so you have to again do docker exit hyphen it that is how you have to connect with a container for getting a bash shell this is one of the new command that you need to remember now inside the docker container i am saying server status you see sshd is not running so if it is not running i will not be able to connect so i should say a service ssh start the server will now you see i will be able to connect to the ssh so now i am able to connect so this is the overall process that we see okay so and also now you will see that okay how to remove the docker container completely okay. so if you say docker stop first you say docker stop with the name and uh, the connection will get closed at the bottom once you stop it and then you can actually say docker container rm rm elegant serve so once you do this the container itself will get removed this uh, the slab that i was talking about it will be removed from your uh, operating system and it will be destroyed now you have to do this entire process again so you have to do docker run 
so if you do a container ls you will find nothing so it will be empty but if you do it before you will see the delegate surface listed see the point here is that you saw the entire process right now okay we actually created a new container say for an example container 1 and the container 1 was named as elegant surf by docker itself we did not name it but if you want to name it you can actually use instead of docker run you have to give a name here like ss host if you do that then the name will be ss host only it will not give a new name and then we saw how to connect how to ping i did not actually ping it you know how to ping because the ip is there you have to just say ping ip address and then installed open ss server we started the service we created user and password inside the uh, Linux user, uh, the Ubuntu Docker environment, and we connected to Docker using the user and the host. So all this activity we had done, and that is the uh, you know overarching step that I have shown you. So right now, if you have okay, one more important point I actually wanted to share something. The point I wanted to share was that if you are newly going to install Docker. In, if you are having a Linux operating system, you will be newly installing it. And at that time, after installation, ensure that you are doing sudo group at docker. And also you are saying sudo user mod hyphen ag docker dollar user. So this commands you have to provide. After that only, you will be able to do a docker pull and get the image. So in the this is something that I wanted to you know reiterate. Uh, Point right now is that you know the entire process. So you know not only to SSH, you know how to set up your own environment in your own laptop, in your own server, and start practicing with that. So how good is that? So you don't need to actually connect to any server or you don't need to have internet even. Initially, yes, you will have <clears throat> in order to get the uh, open SSH software inside your uh, container, you will need to have internet. But after that, you don't need to. So you can do how many times you want to do SSH into the uh, Docker container, you can. You might be wondering, okay, that will be boring. So <laughs> it's okay. Initially, when you start uh, practicing, uh, remove the entire container and do this process again for a couple of times, at least three, four times you do it. You do it in different, different ways. So practice and having a kind of a playground where you can play is the important way of learning. And now it is possible. If your laptop is at least 8 GB of RAM, then you can uh, enjoy by getting almost 4 to 5 Docker containers, not one. So you can get, you can also do SSH between Docker containers. You can try that also. So for example, instead of having one Docker container, you can have two Docker containers. And one can run Ubuntu and another can run Red Hat or another can run uh, Fedora. All these things are possible. So do exploration and practice. So there are various ways of practicing also. If you have any questions, do put it in the comment section so I'll be able to guide you from there. Uh, leave a like in the on the video so that I will know that my content is useful and share it with others and uh, do subscribe to my channel so that in the future videos that I'm going to come up, next video will be about Vim, how to start uh, getting started with Vim, again using Docker container, I'll be sharing it and then uh, we will be going slowly, you know, improving, uh, getting into Linux uh, commands and then Finally, we will be entering into big data. So this is how the entire playlist will go. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy this. And uh, till the next video, stay tuned and have a great time, guys. And as usual, practice, 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 practice. See you.